Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Cookie Cast. Today on Cookie Cast, it's uh, the football podcast. You can't see the forest for the teas, but this is a special episode. Um, so, in the world of podcasting, not everything goes smoothly. In the time that I've been doing this, I've lost entire episodes, I've lost video, I've cut 10 minutes off a podcast, and then I had to try and stitch it together. It's always fun trying to get these podcasts out to you. Uh, and as you'll already know by now, uh, this week, uh, the computer decided we didn't need any podcasts and just vanished them into thin air. Um, the, the one that was, went missing was the football podcast. Uh, tried desperately to get it back and there was a situation where it was like, yep, yeah, that's gone. So Paul was unavailable, but James said that he could come back and do a quick re-record and that would make up for it. So that's what we did. And then when I went back to the computer, the original football podcast had reappeared magically out of thin air. So rather than just letting this one go, we decided that the best thing to do was upload this as like a bonus episode. This is like after the fact a day later so there's a little bit different just me and james um it's not as long as the other one but uh for you guys you get both so it's a bonus so here we go this is cookie cast you can't see the forest for the teas bonus Is that a go? Are we on? We are. Thunderbirds are a go. Live, as it were. Live, please don't say fuck shit or bugger. Or whatever it was. Fuck or bugger, I think. Fuck or bugger. We've gone with two now, haven't we? Fuck, fuck bugger. Should have given it the Jurgen clock. It's after 10 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> don't fucking care, sorry. <laughs> Maybe they it's were after 10 o'clock, shit. I don't know. Right. Right, so let's get the let's get the important bits out of the way. Do, um, the, do, we do, do I do the welcome, Cos? You should do the welcome. Do you think? Well, because yeah, certain people so, have decided that there's no rotation anymore. It's just it's just them doing it. <laughs> yeah, and when he's not here. Uh, so yeah, welcome to uh, the. What is it? What what what's he say? I'm struggling for now. So the north is it Yorkshire's greatest podcast involving Middlesbrough and Forest. That rings a bell. Do you reckon? Yeah. So welcome to You Can't See the Forest for the Teas. I'm here saying it because, well, someone hasn't showed up because he can't be asked. Is, is that, I don't know how true that is. He's, uh, we've had to let him go as the shop. Yeah. He wasn't getting over with the with the, with the masses. <laughs> Cue everyone tuning out because he's <laughs> literally the reason we're getting him. Oh, it's the Oracle not there. Shit. Hello. Um... So this is our second go around. Yeah, it's like Groundhog Day. Yeah. Um, so it's it's sh- it's a Thursday night. We've Thursday never done night. a Thursday night ever no. for a reason. Um, no football happens. So last night, not one but two podcasts, well and truly in the bag, over three hours of yeah. content. Just took, think what you've missed out on. Tucked away nicely. Football, the Spurs game, live commentating, commentary. Yeah, punditry. Punditry. I would say, yeah. Uh, reviewing again. the Liverpool game yeah. as well. Two epic games. We'll talk about it in a little bit, um, briefly. A, a fantastic quiz. Um, let me think of the quiz. What happened? Oh, yeah, Paul crushed me again. I did well. Got nearly uh, got nearly fifty percent. Yeah, I only just I only got forty five percent. I think. Yeah. Nine out of twenty. Then I only got eleven out of twenty. We're giving the spoilers away right away now. Um, so all these things happened, and then with the wind down where we decompress, you guys watched a movie. Um, the not we, the damn United. It, uh, the, we it, I think it's called We Believe in Miracles. It's basically the forest story of the European Cup winning team. Brilliant. 
Uh, so whilst you were watching that, I was okay. transferring lots of audio, lots of video from the laptop to the portable hard drive. Took the portable hard drive downstairs, plugged it into the computer. Computer was like, oh, I don't recognise that. Try it, try me again in a minute. I was like, oh, fine. Unplugged it, a little message came up. Don't, don't you dare unplug that hard drive, because I'm using it. It's like, well, 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 you weren't, and I've already unplugged it, so now what? It was Reet. Plugged it back in. It was not Reet. There were no podcasts, no videos, no audio files, nothing. I've spent the last 18 hours trying to recover that data. Including York's answer to I tech got, support. Got tech support on the blower. Tech support came back with uh, a possible answer. And at this moment in time, that is running, but... We're running out of time, so we had to we had to make a decision. Yeah, so so there's still a possibility this that might not see the light see, of day. <laughs> you will never see this podcast. Um, our host, Mr. Paul Williams, uh, couldn't make the reshoot. Couldn't make the reshoot. Very busy man. He was at a wedding and a stag do signing. Wedding and a stag do. No, he um, he plays football on Thursday night, and you boys do the quiz. And he's he was still in urgent need of a carpet cleaner. If only <laughs> he'd have been somewhere last night that had a carpet cleaner that he could have taken with him. Yeah. Um, so there was there was two choices: not give the not give the public what they want, or myself, Mister Panas, have to saddle up, put our big boy shoes on, saddle yeah. up them donkeys, and get get in it. And that's what we've gone with. Yeah. Is it the right choice? You, you can view at the end. What 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 you could do is even if you recover the old one, you could put them both out. Put them both up and then people long, can vote. Long story, and then you've got your t- <laughs> TLDR version. And then me and you have to sit Paul down and it's like, yeah, it's it's gone well, hasn't it? Uh, Paul, bite size in future. We, so we, we need to talk about something. Yeah. Um, the public have spoken and. You're out. Yeah, it's strange actually, because just just after back to what we did last night, he was in much better mood than I thought he'd be after Middlesbrough shit out. If I'm honest, I think he had a long time to prepare for it. Yeah, he knew it was coming. Yeah, you know, week after week after week of disappointment. Yeah. They just uh, kept him hanging. Unlike Forrest, who obviously shit out early and then went on a winning run right until the end. Can we give it away the spoilers of the results now? So do you want to jump straight into results or just well, briefly do, what's do the week in football? Oh god, um, right, okay. So mainly two fantastic Champions League games. Um result in in two English teams in the final of the Champions League. First time in eleven years, I think. I think I heard this morning. I wouldn't have got that on last night's podcast, that's that. Because you know, uh, you know, the English and their football were not very good at yeah. it. So. so we've got, um, yeah. So Liverpool went into Tuesday night's game three 0 down. You've probably watched the podcast where we were watching it. It was very disappointing. Messi scored a wonder goal. Uh, so yeah, briefly, they won four 0 Who'd have thought Barcelona going to lose four nil? Um, yeah, it was so, right, at the, right at the end as well, wasn't it? Uh, the final goal come at around eighty minutes, so there's about ten minutes to see out. But it was still on a knife edge because if Barcelona had have scored, they'd have been in front of the away goals, and Liverpool would have had to go again. And there was a load of social media stuff about how Barcelona were coming, were coming over. They were gonna definitely gonna score. Yeah, apparently um, Arturo Vidal. Put a tweet out last week. I don't do the Twitter, but Paul does. Last week, saying if Barcelona don't go through, sorry for misquoting here, that he'll give his left testicle to someone and his right testicle to another person. Oh dear! Did you not see that? Yeah, I think Paul's doing. It might have been while you were losing the previous podcast, but yeah, he oh. he, he, he got out there and like basically he knew that they were going to win and they did not. Yeah, and, and obviously Suarez made himself look a twat as well, so everyone's happy about that. So, 
That's uh, that's something new, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so that's 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 that game. Uh, I'm underselling it. It was a, it was a great game. Uh, Alexander Arnold, apparently the new genius right back, because uh, he saw Barcelona napping and put Origi through off corner to score a great goal. So they're through. Everyone's really happy at the end. Jurgen Klopp swore a bit on TV. Gary Lineker refused to um, apologise on his behalf. Pretty entertaining. Yeah. All fair. Uh, so we decided to uh, to do the podcast whilst watching the Tottenham game, see if it would be as exciting. Didn't look to be going that way. So going into the game, Tottenham 1-0 down from the home leg at the um, yeah. Tottenham Stadium or whatever it's called, London Stadium, whatever. Um, went out to Amsterdam conceded the goal almost immediately then conceded another goal so there was food beforehand so oh, right, I, yeah. was, I was up and down the stairs oh, right, yeah. and I'd gone down like because the game I, it hadn't kicked off I went downstairs and moments later Paul turned up and was like I don't know if you if you got that but uh, I already scored yeah well, Ajax started really quick in the first leg. Absolutely pummeled them, and they just came out and did the same thing again this time. So they've scored a good goal. They've had a few more chances. Tottenham is a quite an open game. Tottenham have had a load of chances as well, not put them away. The Ajax have scored a second goal. I think it was around like 35, 40 minutes, something like that. So they've gone in there at half time 2 0 two nil down on the night, 3 0 down on the aggregate. They need at least three goals. Paul, before the start of the game, is like, I'm glad Son's back because Lucas Moura, not good enough. But Son's going to do it for him. I'm sure you probably already know by now. Lucas Moura, despite Paul's glowing reference. Just just, th- just the three goals. Scored a hat-trick. <laughs> uh, including, like, I don't know, maybe like 83rd minute. No, 88 minute winner, something like that. Um, it was like... Yeah, One second goal, moment. incredible. Um, he's had a great game. Um, having looked at the scores this morning, um, he got man of the match. Not surprising. Shocker. Uh, strangely enough, Sky Bet actually um, had, had rated all the players. And outside of Moore and possibly Deli Alley, both teams, they, they'd scored them pretty low as in terms of individual performances. So maybe he's... Watch when I was watching the game. Maybe it was looking like it was an exciting game. Maybe you're kind of like overtaken by that excitement, and it, mm. it maybe wasn't as good a game. It was the. I suppose what I'm trying to say is it was probably just like the drama and the event rather than actually a good game of football. Technically, you see what I mean. All the players only got like four or four out of ten, five out of ten for individual performance. Outside of Moru, got like a nine. And Deli Ali got like an eight. They all got really low performances, but it didn't feel like that watching it. Didn't it. I, even I was like, yeah, yeah. but but maybe we were just getting a bit too excited. We were, I mean, we were obviously like casting and watching, but yeah. So at the end of it, Tottenham are through. Um, Pochettino cried a lot, just like he did in the previous game when they. So you, you didn't you, you imagine that it was they couldn't top the drama of the Man City Tottenham game in the quarter final, which I think I've said a couple of times. Really, I believe that is the greatest game I've ever seen. You know, without looking back at like historical mm. games or whatever, one that I've actually sat and watched the drama and that was incredible. We've talked about it anyway. Um, this came close because it really went down to the wire as well and Pochettino went fucking nuts. Um, cried a lot. Um, he just like, a, he, I think I said at the time, he just looked like like a child, like like a childlike innocent joy. Yeah. So, it, it, it was, uh, and then he then he played to the crowd for like a good hour after the game, yeah. and we just watched that. So, so it's pretty good. So, as I say, we've got a, a Tottenham Liverpool final. If he was here, he'd be saying that he's hoping Tottenham win. I'd probably prefer Liverpool to win, but I mean, you know, you can choose. I'm not really. I, I, I'm not going to be upset either way. Um, what it does is. Probably, well, in about 20 minutes, Europa League games kick off. So it's 20 to 8 now. Europa League games kick off. I'll be watching that down the pub with Paul later. So like he couldn't he couldn't be here, but he can be at the pub. Can't do it all. 
Yeah. Um, we'll be watching those those two games. So there's the potential for the first time ever of us having all four. So we got four teams to the semi final. So out of the last eight teams across both competitions, we got four English teams. Mm. That's the first time we've done that. It's really looking likely to me because the Champions League ones were the ones that were less likely to happen that we can get four English teams into two finals so we definitely win both both competitions and the Chelsea and Arsenal ones are more likely than the ones from mm-hmm. the last two nights so we'll, we'll we'll get back to you on that one um, but that's good so that, that kind of covers off the immediate what's happened this week yep. uh, I've obviously got to touch on uh, championship mm-hmm. so it's the final games of the season mm. So, what what happened? So, Norwich managed to win, which meant it didn't really matter what Sheffield United did, they were going to be champions. There were three points in front, but if they'd have lost, Sheffield United had won. They had a greater goal difference, so it was there was something to play for on that, that day. Uh, as it turned out from memory, I think Sheffield United drew anyway. Balls it up a bit. But Norwich won. So, they're champions. Sheffield United are... Uh, Runners up, still up there. I hope they get really good next year, honestly. <laughs> Unpopular opinion? Probably not. <laughs> uh, as it turns out, so in the playoffs, Borough needed to win. They did. Which they did. And they needed to hope that Derby only drew or lost. They did not. No, Derby, Derby won uh, fairly convincingly against West Brom. So... As it turns out, that means that it didn't matter that Leeds absolutely shit out against um, Ipswich. So Ipswich don't win. Right? They're shit. Leeds managed to lose. Had West Brom managed to beat Derby, the playoff situation could have been massively different because Leeds would have dropped down to fourth, which would, would have been incredible. And Borough would have like shot shot into that sixth place. As it says here on my pad. Yeah. Well, it could have been. Uh, that's not what happened. So, as it turns out, we're going into the playoffs. Leeds will play Derby. Or, to be specific, Derby will play Leeds on Saturday. Which we predicted both legs. Yes. Yeah, and Villa will play West Brom. Which we've also predicted both legs. Yeah, so I'll summarise those. So... Oh, you want to get into... Those well, this fe- this probably feels a good okay. time to do last week's scores. Yeah, okay. So, as we're talking about Middlesbrough, Derby, West Brom... Uh, you haven't mentioned Forrest, but um, so we went we went through the the numbers as we do each week. Yeah, Forrest versus Bolton. Uh, so what all. what did we predict? So there was crazy predictions, but this was at the point in time that Bolton had to send out the I, kids, the I, dogs, the caretakers. I was told that they were fielding a team no matter what, but their first team hadn't been hadn't been paid. So we went on the basis that we were going to get tonked. So we picked Just after scores. we did the things, and when we were looking at the odds, I was like, "Oh, they've just had a, they've just had a, they've just, oh, they've just had a loan to pay them." <laughs> but we, we, we kind of like said, "Oh yeah, but they're shit anyway, so whatever." Yeah. So we went with. If so I remember, starting at the top, seven nil from Paul, five nil from you, three nil from me. Yeah. This was at the point they were sending out scarecrows and stuff. So yeah. that. It felt reasonable. Then, literally after the podcast, we found out that they were sending out the first team. Yeah, but that was like a bit last minute because I think it's fair to say we didn't put any bets on in the end because we couldn't find the Bolton game on the betting account and we were going to get back to it. We were, and I personally wish we'd have done that. Yeah. But we'll get to that. But we didn't. So, Uh, there's predictions. The result was a... Thumping, 1-0 win. To Forest, obviously. To Forest. Uh, uh, everybody got a point for that. Yeah. With uh, Forest's Player of the Year. Um, I think we talked about his, his tweet, didn't we? Um, so uh, that's that's my... Uh, oh, you're going to get in there. That's right, my okay. la- This Week in Football. My only This Week in Football. This Week in Football. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, let you have that. So anyway, Joe Lolly scored. Joe Lolly scored. Um... um which brings us to this week, last week in football, mm-hmm. Joe Lolly uh, won. He won 
Forest Player of the Year. Player of the Year award. And took to Twitter. Jumped on the Twitter. To tell to thank To thank his teammates. To say, oh, you know, this was a team effort. No, no, no. No. Jumped on Twitter to say, just want to say thanks for the award. And uh, no thanks to any of my teammates. This was an individual award won by me. Yeah. And uh, I think I think the general <laughs> consensus in the room was Joe Lolly. He's, he's he's fast uh, becoming Paul's favourite favourite non, non-borough, non-borough player. player. Yeah, uh, and anybody that does something like that, I'm always like, yeah. good lad. Yeah. Um, so points all round. Uh, everybody got a point for the goal scorer as well. Yeah, I mean, you're always going to go Lolly pretty much anyway. There's no way that me and Paul are predicting five and seven nil without Lolly being one of them. Yeah. So all equal down. Or two of them. In Paul's case. Yeah. So that was Forrest. Everybody's got points on the board. Yeah. Two two apiece all round. So that takes us to the Middlesbrough game. Oh, God. We've not got Stato here. So I'm, I'm, I'm really I'm really kind of like remembering for, for scorers and stuff here. So tell me what we said it was going to be. So Paul predicted a 2-0. Yourself, 1-0. I... Predicted two one. All uh, right, okay. Well, that's interesting because it was two one. And what makes it more interesting is that if Paul had to put the bets on, you'd have got something. I'd have had about eight pounds. Well, he owes you eight quid then, doesn't he? Put it with the rest. Put it, yeah, put it on the tab. Uh, Unfortunately, um, we know for definite one of Borough's goal scorers. Yeah, so um, I cover off. I can remember the the Rotherham scorer was Doctor himself, Matt Smith. Yes. Um, ain't no one put, picked him. No, nope. I wouldn't even know a Rotherham. Well, scorer. only I, I only I needed to pick. Um, the the goals for Borough were, as far as I know, um, Asamba Longa. Yes. And John Owen McKell. Probably his only goal in the last ten years. I don't. Know. Right. So that that covers that. Up. Um, yourself and Paul got a point for the score. I got two points for the score, uh, and a third, a third. Me and point. Paul yeah. got points for a Samba Longa scoring. Oh, so yeah. So um, I'm, I'm the worst this week then. So at the bottom was yourself with three points. Paul got four points, and as always, this guy. Wins if we'd have been, you know, like we record the points. the running total of quizzes, quizzes. between me and Paul. Have you actually been recording a running total of weekly wins on this? No, but I have recorded all the wins, so I went back and looked. Yeah. And in actual fact, when I'm going, I win every fucking week. Is it just like the last three weeks? No, I had a three-week run. All right. Uh, But I think me and Paul are drawing about, and then you're coming in close second. uh, Close. I never win. So I've had three on the bounce. Then... Paul won, you won, this is working backwards, yeah. uh, you won, I won. The annoying thing you is, Paul's, won. Paul's shy at predicting scores, but then wins the quiz every week. It's very annoying. Yeah. So he, can't, he cannot predict, predict a game state of his life, yeah. although that the first one I've got written down in this pad... He got four points that week. Yeah. Um, I do remember him getting a lot points. of absolute zero weeks. Oh, he's had some. He's had some zero yeah. weeks. So, so yeah. So that's where we are. I we didn't. The week. We didn't actually get any bets on though for that one. No. So, so somebody owes me eight quid. You decide. Yeah. So, was there well, anything else from last week? Last week. Uh, Premier League update. It's not quite finished yet, but. Um, Cardiff went down. I don't think we even said that last night. Actually, so you've got you've got a little bonus Ooh. there. Cardiff got relegated. Right. It was always on the cards. Um, Brighton have managed to stay up with currently thirty five points, which is outrageous. Um, what else? Man City. Oh, Man City got a worldy goal. Vincent Company defender. Incredible. I'm sure you've seen it by now. Uh, they managed to win 1-0 at 
against Leicester on Monday night. Yeah, so we were talking about the goal, the corner in the Liverpool game. Yeah. Which, you know, there's a, like a, a series of events have come together to just... Like he's walked away from it. And then oh yeah, yeah. No, that was, that that actually, was, the game, the game's in play. That was a cracking, sneaky goal. Was that uh, one? But again, anybody who's anybody. Who's Vin- seen Vincent that, Company's goal for Man City probably will. He might not agree. I, I'm looking like he's here, but he's not. He's not here. He's here in spirit. Maybe they're all secretly open right at the end. We've been playing a trick, and he's just been sat here quietly. But but not. He's he's not here. Um. Yeah, so companies scum, company scored a worldy goal um, to the point where I'm sure everyone will remember that's the goal that won the league. Because had he not scored that, probably looking like a nil-nil draw, gives Liverpool the advantage going into last week of the uh, season. As it turns out, Man City are still one point ahead. It's destiny's in their own hands. They can win, and they've won. They're playing Brighton in the last game of the season. Who I've just said have somehow managed to stay up with thirty five points because they're terrible. It's just a Cardiff for worse and Fulham and and uh, Huddersfield. Liverpool have to go to Wolves. It's a more difficult game. It's not a gimme, but even if they win, it's unlikely that Man City are going to balls it up. Uh, so th- yeah, so it's looking like Man City. Isn't that what Barcelona thought? Yeah, but Liverpool are a lot better relative. Than Brighton, yeah. um, and this is all, yeah. Uh, well, I say it's all Man City have got to focus on. Still got an FA Cup final. That's for another podcast. Uh, so that's that. Um, he'd have probably said something about all the other leagues, which honestly I don't know anything about. Uh, let me think. Luton and Barnsley. I think we already knew Luton and Barnsley were promoted in League One, but the the playoffs were decided. It's like Charlton, Portsmouth, Sunderland and Donny. Uh, Donny will get hammered, I'd have thought. So that's that. I can't really think of anything else that's happened in football. So that that, that brings us up to date, I think. Okay. I don't think there was anything um, off, the, off the pitch, <clears throat> as it were, that's gone on. No, nothing stands out. Then, yeah. No, it's a bit of a... So, we predicted, because there's no Borough and there's no Forest games yeah. to predict. I thought we'd jump on the playoff train. the playoffs. So, it's two legs. Aston Villa versus West Brom, Derby versus Leeds, and then West Brom versus Aston Villa, Leeds versus Derby. Yeah. Aston Villa versus West Brom. Paul has gone for a 2-1 to West Brom. Uh, a Doma to score for Villa, Gale and Rodriguez to score for West Brom. Your good self has gone for a 1 0 Villa, Abrahams to score. Big Tammy. And myself, I broke out Old Faithful, a little 2 1 to Villa, Abrahams and Codger. Yeah, you, well, see, I, he, he was looking for a bit of inspiration for goal scorers. Obviously, Codge has been in the news recently because he went down. When we had this whole spat with, with Leeds, he was the man on the floor. Yeah. Um, and I think you just find it a, a comic Great name that they've got yeah. an old Codger playing up front. Yeah. Right? So, so I pick, uh, that's how I pick all sorts of horses, football players. Well, in Venice, it's serving you well on predictions, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and I went for Rodriguez to score for West Brom. Mm-hmm. Derby versus Leeds. Mr. Williams has gone for 1 0 Derby with Wilson to score. Uh, Mr. Panas has gone with a 2 0 to Leeds. I can't even remember. I went for scorers. So Hernandez can... oh, yeah. and Roof. Yeah. And I have gone for a 1 0 to Derby because there's no way I'm ever going to tell you that Leeds are going to win. Yeah. And I've gone Wagon. So, so that I've been reliably informed by Mr. Williams that Bamford's not allowed to play in these two games because he was mm-hmm. a naughty boy in the Villa game. Mm-hmm. However, if my predictions go to plan, Bamford will return. Return for, for the, the final, final, which hopefully will be Leeds and Villa. So, second leg, mm-hmm. West Brom versus Aston Villa. Paul Williams. So this is Tuesday night. Two all. Gail and Rodriguez to score for West Brom. 
and Harain and Abraham to score for Villa. Um, Mr. Pallas. It's not actually Harain, because I was telling you, just write it down. Yeah. I can't remember what he's... Is it Hurahan or something like that, I think? But anyway, you get uh, Your good self has gone for a nil-nil draw. Yeah. No goal scorers, obviously. No. Uh, and I've gone 1-0 to Villa. A Doma. Jumped on, jumped on a Doma, right. Okay. Oh, yeah, because I... Sometimes when we're doing all this and there's all the all the stuff going on, I end up just putting all my predictions down, and I never actually. So, so this is a bonus feature. Yeah. Uh, I think I've done. It, I think this happened for the other game as well. Uh, Leeds versus Derby. Paul Williams two nil. Hernandez Ro- Roberts to score. Oh yeah. James has gone for two nil. Also, Alioski and Clark. Nailed it on both accounts there, yeah. So, so that 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 obviously, Paul believes that Leeds are going through in that tie then because he's picked Derby to win the first tie, but Leeds to overhaul. Win more. That. Yeah. So we're, we're both looking at Leeds going through. You're not looking at Leeds going through. I will never look at Leeds to go through. Uh, yeah. And I have gone for a one-all draw. Hernandez and Wilson. Scorers. Um, we put some bets on. So Paul has ended up with a hundred and three pounds on the line. James Panas seventy six pounds, and little old me with played it six, safe, didn't you? Yeah, sixty seven pounds. Yeah. So, so we'll be we'll be reviewing these on the night of that Leeds return leg. I, I believe the second legs. So both those games are on the first legs, both on Saturday. Mm-hmm. The return legs, I believe, the Villa West Brom one is on Tuesday night, mm-hmm. and the Leeds Derby one is on Wednesday night. When we will podcast and give you the live updates, Got hopefully on that one. Double bubble on uh, Wednesday. Double podcast. Oh yeah, because you've got you got Stu's coming over for Stu. So uh, is he getting involved in a wrestling? Fo- getting involved in a football, football one. So we'll right. get some uh, get some opinions from that. I always like it because Stu actually oh. offers oh. some actual content rather than rambling. He'll be prepared. The, the, I, as I've said a million times before, the man is a one-man podcasting machine. Oh, I can look really good while Paul's not here. Challenge me to the stat. Oh, uh, James, you. Uh, <laughs> Do you know which is the oldest uh, uh, team in the football league? Football league. Yeah. Now that. Yeah. So now that Notts County are no longer in the football league. Yeah. Do you know who that might be? Yeah, I do. If you had to hazard a guess, who would it be? Ah, uh, well, it'd be the, the the greatest football team ever. My football team. Forest. Don't. <laughs> yeah, it's Forest, isn't it? I think I believe Nottingham Forest. Yeah. Um, although I am led to believe that there might be some controversy around this. Yeah, there is. There's a load. Of, so, so he, he's got to put this in context. Um, we got we got challenged on a stat off. Me and Paul both failed miserably, even though the answer was my team. Mm, so Stuart Woodbancy, big shout, Stu, uh, sent me some information, and he was like, um, just. Uh, if you're recording a football podcast, throw this out to the boys and see if they get it right, which is the oldest team in the league now. Um, and I did, and as as you correctly said, uh, you both had a go and neither of you got it right. <laughs> even I, I'd though... like to say, I'm still taking a win over Paul because he went for Wednesday. No, nowhere near. No. I at least named a founding football team, the Football League team. I went with Bolton. I I thought I had some inside knowledge. I thought I'd heard that it was Bolton. To be fair, previously, but it was not. The, it also transpired that all those stewards sent us this information and was like, "Oh yeah, try and get one over on uh, Paul and stuff." All of this, it wasn't actually his information to share. It had come from uh, another podcast alum, uh, Mr. Matthew Moore. Big shout out to Matt. Big Forest fan. Big Forest fan. Um, but when I did check it out, although a lot of people do say it's Forest, there's there's some. There's some people that question it. I think they were suggesting that Stoke might have a claim to it, although mm-hmm. Stoke themselves claim their own history is sketchy. 
So we'll, we'll, that, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll leave it at that. So yeah, I even shit out on a forest quiz, as it were. But at least he didn't get it. That'd have been worse. Mm. Speaking of quizzes, um, so the game was still ongoing at that point in time. Spurs were by that point. Spurs were on a comeback. Um, yeah, putting goals away. Uh, we did do a quiz. It's one of those, obviously, Paul's not here. We have already done the quiz. The, the scores have been tied, as we mentioned at the beginning. I got nine. I got 11. 11. And I think Paul got 16 out of 20. What another 12. win. Um, James picked the quiz. I know. So that seems to be the way to do things now. The, 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 the current loser. It's to give you the best opportunity. Yeah. Um, so the, the, the thing is, I, the previous time when, I, when, when he gave me the pick, I went with the one that I thought Paul would struggle with the most. That was my tactic. And it kind of worked for me. And he did. He, he didn't yeah. win that week. This time, I got a bit excited and I went with the one I wanted to do the most. Mm. I think they're probably out of the three options. Mm. I can't remember what the other options were now. There was probably one where I thought Paul struggled more than me, but I'm like, I want to do this, this one. And we did it and he, he, he beat no. me. So we did... Um, Who... Last- Multiple choice, who was the highest transfer of the year? Working back from 2017... 2018 through to 1998 or something, wasn't it? Oh, I maybe thought it started in 2017 and then was went it back Pog- to Yeah, 2017 because it was Pogba and it went back to 98 because that's inclusive 20 years. Yeah. So it was yeah. multiple choice and it was um, this player went from this club to this club. Yeah. Four choices. Uh, it was on the Daily Mail. If anybody wants to do it, look it up. Uh, you scored to be his 16. He Paul, did his he did his usual. Oh, oh no really sure with that. Oh, I think I've guessed about half of them. Oh, I've got nearly all of them right. And and just to rub salt in the wounds, every time Andy read out the answer, Paul would be like, so was that 20 million? Yeah, it was. Was that 21 million? Well, it was actually 22. But he, yeah. he was within a million. Of yeah, like within a million on them. every single one of them. Yeah. Annoying. Which, but I hope um, he's ready to, you know, impart that knowledge at the quiz tonight. It's the football quiz. Football quiz. It's too late to plug it because second Thursday in month. about half an hour. I I'm imagine I'll be there buying these guys beers. Maybe, maybe from last week's plug-in. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully we'll win. He's turning up late, so I have to solo the first round. And you are now soloing him because uh, the yeah, legend... Yeah, he's, he's, his dad's not coming this time. John, John Williams is, is not in sti- the Sticking around to conduct an orchestra or, mm. you know, put some music together, I don't know. But, yeah, John Williams not there, so it's just me and Paul. So, he's so got his basic... He's, he's essentially got his wish of, what happens if I turn up to the quiz late? Can I overhaul everyone else's... Deficit of the first of the first half? So, it depends the, how many I can, I can put on the board in the first round. That's the thing, isn't it, because... You're still gonna win. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. We've we've we've. Th- there's only what been was it? there's only been one week that we haven't won, and it's because we didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> I can't remember the reason why we didn't go. Now he was away. Was he? Yeah, he was. There was like, literally no one, and there's no point me rocking up. Stag do I think? Yeah. Um, oh no, he was sick. He was poorly sick. Oh, he was. Poorly sick? Yeah. Did happen to be Valentine's Day, but he was... Uh, yeah. So, yeah, we, yeah we've, we've, we've only not won it once since... Oh, uh, that is... Uh, since, like, October or something or other that, like that. It's, it's been a good run. Hilarious. Big run. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, Phil takes it in good spirits. And, and to be fair, he keeps giving us the prize money. We've said lots of times. Stop giving us the money. You don't need to give us the money. It's, just, it's enough to come back and... Win, but I feel like we have a few red stripes. Um, I think Paul's still cracking on with the um, with the five aside. I can't really remember. I think I think they do, they win a lot. Uh, he was saying that tonight he he's moving out to the outfield. Is he? Apparently so. Is that because he's been conceding like eighteen goals in three? Well, he's like a couple of goals in, I think. Yeah. Uh, Maybe. We were sat out the other night and he's he, he turned up late because he'd been playing football. And when 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 he 
like gave the result it was like 2018 he'd won and his brother so James came out was like 2018 how's this happen and then James had to be told that they played 25 minutes each way that is a mammoth that's a mammoth five a side game apparently he spends the whole time on his arse so not to but, know. but doesn't that work out to like a goal every one and a half minutes or something 25 minutes, so minutes. yeah minutes. So, something like that but With 38 goals but the, the, I think the private side pitch that he's playing on in, in this particular league it's enclosed so the ball never goes out of play oh ok so like unless it's going in the goal it's bouncing off right. boarding so it's the, there's a lot of in play there Guess so. and also maybe Paul's just rubbish but he tells me he's not other goalkeeper is slightly worse by the time of it. Yeah. So, so yeah. And that's so all that matters. Whether you yeah. win by an inch or a mile. Yeah. A yeah, win yeah. is a win. Not first, you lost. I have to find that with the with the quiz. Uh, I think I think that's is that I all. We, is that all that. we've got. It, it's weird. Not, not trying to think what happened in the last week. I'm just like. What did I talk about last night? What happened in the last podcast? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I think that's it. So, I hope you get to see this. Yeah. If Apologies. Uh, I mean, I'm going to run down and, and see what files have been recovered. If I'm honest, I'm not really I'm not really holding out a lot of hope. But It can be maybe... a new feature. You can give it alternate ending podcasts. Yeah. Like, do you, want, do you want the full beans or do you yeah. want the... Do you want the director's cut? Do you want yeah. the theatrical version? Could be all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Um, you never know. I might just upload both if if both exist. Uh, yeah, all, yeah. It's also like I said to you. The, the the thing with digital is even if it even if we do recover it, will it be intact? No. Will there be bits missing yeah. and stuff like that? So who knows? Apologies from my computer, I guess, for deciding it didn't need any of the podcast from last night. The, the thing, the other you thing, say it's is, annoying. It's only now. It's only just recently you've stopped like. Keeping so I used to, I used to, because I was so meticulous that I didn't want to, I didn't want to lose anything. Didn't want to. I used to keep a copy of the original, then a copy of like the the bit that goes at the front and the bit that goes at the back, like me talking and introducing the podcast. I used to keep a copy of that, copy with and without, copy that, and then a copy to get and so many copies that the laptop and the computer were like, you know, we've run out of space, don't you? And I was like, oh, uh, right, well, I'll just delete everything. Cloud. Uh, so I delete, deleted everything, and then it was like, yeah, we're full again. And I'm like, this is this is getting a bit silly. And I've never had any issues. And in the last two months, I've had I've had ones where I've like lost ten minutes of the podcast. <laughs> so I don't know where the hell's that gone. So I had to like just cut ten minutes of video and stuff. Like I've lost the audio, mm -hmm. cut all the video out, which has taken me like five hours to sort out because I'm like where does this bit go and where does that stuff like that obviously what happened last night if there had been a copy on the laptop I could have just gone Phew. but no so you're very torn between what is being for want of a better way putting it too anal and what is being safe not sorry but hey you live to learn yeah, well, I hope you've managed without Paul. I'm sure we'll be back again. He will be back. Unless you've enjoyed it, but... Like I say, double... double I can't imagine listening to me talk is that entertaining. Next week, so, uh, yeah. But he owes me now. Ne ne next week I will just sit in silence. And just watch him. Do his thing. Own. Yeah. I think he'd enjoy that. He would do, yeah. <laughs> he can beat himself in the quiz. He can play two quizzes. <laughs> <laughs> which one will win uh, right yeah I, I, cool. I'm, I'm rambling now really I'm rambling so um, bye tune in next week for all the results of the games find out if we won any money and Stu will be here Stu will be here and we owe you a quiz so um, technically I've got two quizzes so if we can get through the rest of the week we might do two quizzes I think next week we have some kind of visual quiz, especially with Stuart. Let's see what we can do. 
Obviously, I can't really help too much when I'm being involved. Let me think on that. Yeah. Because when I was rooting around at the back last night with power issues and things, I was looking and I was like, mm, technically I can get to cables and things. Uh, are you with me? Yeah. Cool. All right, well, thank you for coming back and, and doing the deed and oh, you know, fine. Um, making it so that these lovely people can still enjoy uh, hearing about football. Yeah. Cool. Thanks. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank See you, you next bye. week. Thank you, bye. What do we do? So press it once, and then press it again. Press it once, press it again. Did I go too early or is that one done? No, everything's good. Sweet. So there you go, what do you think of that? Short and sweet, um, not so short actually, it was nearly an hour, so that's cool. Um, big big thank you to James for coming back and doing that, like I say, um, the magic of computer weirdness, the other one reappeared, so uh, you guys get both, um, and this one's a bonus. Uh, so yeah, there we go, two football podcasts in one week, cool. Um, usually it'd be the point where I'd say if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe, so you know, I'll still say that, and I'd normally tell you to jump over to thecookiecast.com, uh, so I'll tell you to do that as well. Check us out over there, our website, our emails, our social media feeds, all that fun stuff. Uh, use it. So yeah, there we go, another week done. Football's drawing to a close, um, but as they say, when one door closes, another one opens, so stay tuned for more fun and exciting podcasts. Until then, I'm going to say goodbye, and I'll see you then. Bye.